guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Louis Vuitton Clements wallet. I bought this about a year ago, so I feel like I can do a good review about it now. When I went to um, make my purchase for this wallet, I had been thinking about buying this wallet. So I watched as many YouTube videos as I could, but I noticed that there wasn't that many YouTube videos about it. So I thought I would just buy it and then make my own video about it so I can help other people decide whether they want to purchase this wallet or not so yes so this wallet right now retails in the USA for um $530 and I got mine in the monogram print but there's like so many different things you can get now there so I went ahead and just bought it in the rose ballerine it's very pretty it's a pretty light pink okay so on the inside of the wallet it looks like this I don't know if you can see it holds eight cards total so there's four on this side and four on this side and each side has a like hidden compartment a big hidden compartment Ooh, I should probably not show my card on there Anyways, but in the back of this pocket I usually just keep cards that I don't use on a regular basis like credit cards I don't use on a regular basis and on this side I usually put cash I have and that's my medical Usually I have cash that I don't want to be like using on this side, but right now I just have my um, insurance card. Which I should probably not flash that either, but yes. So you have four card slots on this side and four card slots on this side. And I would not recommend putting more than one card in it because you're going to stretch this part out. And that part, actually I've seen people, it can rip, so definitely don't put more than just one card and unlike a lot of people I actually put coins in my coin pouch and it doesn't really get that dirty because inside it's dark the dark brown and this part I think is just leather and what I really like is that the canvas is on the inside of the wallet too so that side has canvas and that side has canvas so it kind of breaks up the whole rose ballerine in there so, and it zips on the inside with the coin, and I love this little zipper. The only thing I'll say about this wallet, that when you go to zip this thing up, you need to make sure you grab it by this thing right here. This little knot thing, I would grab it by there and zip it up because you don't want this to bend. And um, my purse, I'll show you in a minute how my purse helps keep this thing straight. Like, I I mean, that's pretty straight. After a year of having it, that's pretty straight. Anyways, also with this wallet, this zipper here, sometimes it'll sit like this when you zip it up. Or it'll sit like this when you zip it up. You know? And you want to make sure that the thing, that zipper is sitting down before you zip it up. I'll show you what I mean by that. Like right now, it's sitting down. So when you zip it up, it's just smooth and closes. Right here. Smooth and closes. Now, if it was tilt to the side, when you zip it up, it's going to do that. And that is going to stretch your glazing and stuff. So anytime you close this wallet, you need to make sure this thing is like laid down. And I bought this online. So it's made in the U.S. Although on the inside it says, this is Louis Vuitton Paris. I don't know if you can see it. This is Louis Vuitton Paris. And then your um, date code actually sits on the back of one of these um, hidden pockets back here. I think it sits on this side. Yeah, it just sits on the inside there. You really can't see it because it's so tiny. But your date code should sit on the back. And I would say that mine is pretty, pretty lined up. You know, some people's wallets say they haven't been lined up. I think mine's pretty even. You know, the side's backwards and then the side is frontwards. So you know what I mean? It's like one canvas. So with this wallet, it sits perfectly straight in my purse. So I have the Percept Matisse purse. And when I go to put it up, 
I don't know if you can see that, but when I do that, it just goes straight in there and it keeps that thing straight. So I just keep it in that front pocket there. And then when I went to go get it out, that thing is still pretty straight. So I would say that my purse has helped kept it straight. I don't really know the dimensions and I'm not going to measure it because I don't even own a tape measure and I don't even know how to work a tape measure. So. I'm just not even going to go there, but I can put down what's on the internet. So the length of this wallet is 19.5 centimeters, and then the height is 9 centimeters, and then the width is 1.5 centimeters. So that is the end of my video. So thank you for watching, and I hope you continue to watch other videos that I upload.